Welcome back to Wednesday Hot Stove Top of the Hour. J.P. Morosi leading the league in information. And hey, what was the uh, what was the ceremony in the DR recently regarding the World Baseball Classic? Matt and Harold, La Bandera Dominicana, the great Dominican flag that the team is going to bring to the World Baseball Classic. A presentation from the president of the Dominican Republic, Luis Abinader, gives it to Nelson Cruz, who is both the Gerente General, which is the GM of the team, and of course, a member well, of the playing roster as well. So you've got uh, La Bandera Dominicana, one of the great anthems that we hear during the you course of the World Baseball Classic. I cannot wait for those moments. And by the way, Matty, uh, I, I, I smiled broadly and enduringly when you mentioned that Tops traded set. I recall well, I think the 86 and 87 Tops traded. Remember the, the card stock was a little brighter and a little crisper, as I recall it, from those Tops traded. And they also added the rookies in there. So when the likes of Barry Bonds arrived and Will Clark, it was in a Tops traded supplemental set in season. Don Baylor had a great tops traded card back in 1986. <laughs> I love you the old tops in. traded. Hey, look, man, these are among it's the reasons why we love the game as much as we do. It started when we were kids collecting baseball cards. So one of the uh, fascinating elements to baseball card collecting is always when the print is made and the run is done and then a guy gets traded or signs with a new team. So in the case of somebody like, say, Wilson Contreras, a catcher changing uniforms, I don't know what his tops card looks like this year. I would imagine it happened in time for him to appear in a Cardinals logo. Let's talk about catchers that are joining new teams this year because two of the last five World Series winners have had catchers in their first year on the roster. Easier said than done to win immediately as a new signal caller. Great call, Matty, and uh, I would say this great transition as well to pivot there and ask the question about Wilson Contreras. Well done, my friend. Thank you. Uh, I'll say this. Wilson Contreras, talk about the history here. For the first time since 2004, the opening day catcher for the Cardinals will not be Yadier Molina. The, the predecessor for Yadi as the Cardinals opening day catcher, Mike Matheny. That's how long ago it was. The transition happened, but Wilson Contreras, I love the story by John Denton at MLB.com here this week about uh, Contreras catching Adam Wainwright's bullpen session, the inaugural bullpen session of Waino's final year of his major league career with Wilson Contreras' first bullpen session day as the Cardinals catcher. So how about that as a changing of the guard? And Adam Wainwright told John uh, that he actually had texted Yachty after that bullpen session. So I think it's important that you see Contreras. Um, obviously, we'd all love to see him playing in the WBC for Venezuela, but for him to stay in camp, learn the Cardinals staff, commit to that brilliant new Cardinals uniform, of course, a longtime Cub. It's a great story in the NL Central and for Major League Baseball overall. That's good stuff. Let's talk about some of these other catchers who are changing uniforms, other players that are changing uniforms. Uh, and let's go to a guy for whom there was a lot of dialogue uh, this winter. Sean Murphy traded to the Atlanta Braves. You know, the, it's, it's Oakland East or Southeast, if you will. Matt Olson traded and long-termed immediately. And the same thing happening with Sean Murphy. Big expectations for him. Huge expectations indeed, Matt. And Murphy was one of those trade candidates we talked about a lot during the course of our hot stove season and and someone that had gained the reputation as being one of the top offensive and really two-way young catchers in the sport it was a significant trade for the Braves to get him and, and you're right on I think our reaction when the trade happened was okay how long until they extend him it took all of a day or two I believe <laughs> uh, and certainly he had a tremendous transformation in season to being one of the top offensive forces in the sport behind the plate. He's someone else who uh, won't be in the World Baseball Classic, but I think will really use that time uh, behind the plate during spring training to learn this impressive staff. You talk about how long the Braves can be great and, and the likes of Spencer Strider and Wright as part of that group. And I, I think one of the really key relationships we'll see built here is, is Mike Soroka coming into spring with the Braves and, and the oh. hopes that he'll be healthy now during the course of the 2023 season. The chemistry to develop there between Murphy and Soroka <coughs> worth watching as well. Other new catchers wow. changing uniforms or veteran catchers changing uniforms include Christian Vasquez going to the Twins, catching some new arms on the staff, and certainly 
arms that he hasn't been familiar with. And for all these guys, including Vasquez, even though he's a veteran, spring training becomes a very important six weeks. Really is, and certainly we're talking about the AL Central. Let's talk about Vasquez and then maybe Zanino a bit after that with Mike Zanino going to Cleveland. But I think for Christian Vasquez, he will be part of the World Baseball Classic uh, and someone that I think when you see him uh, going into camp there with, with the Twins first and then with Team Puerto Rico, just a really solid all-around player. Someone whose bat, I think, uh, has really matured as time has gone on. Uh, I think there is still some more upside for him to go. Obviously, there was the midseason trade for him between the Red Sox and the Astros to where Maldonado was already so ensconced as the catcher in Houston. But Vasquez, I think, was a key part of that team as well uh, that eventually, of course, won the World Series. And then again, staying in the American League Central, Mike Zunino uh, going to Cleveland, someone who I think you look at his his background as a really good catcher and an excellent signal caller, to your point earlier, Matt, uh, who I think will, will join now a team and a familiarity, of course, uh, with that coaching staff still as well in, in Cleveland now. I think this team, the Cleveland Guardians, still has tremendous potential in the American League Central. I know we've, we've talked a lot about how the White Sox could play if they're healthy for a full season and the Twins as well, of course, adding Vasquez. I think Zanino was exactly the right kind of Terry Francona catcher to bring this Guardian staff forward. You think about McKenzie and Bieber, still so much talent there in the pitching staff that Zanino will spend a lot of time getting to know there this spring in Goodyear, Arizona. Boy, all this really whetting our appetite for uh, spring training pitchers and catchers reporting today. J.P. handled pitchers last hour, catchers this hour. J.P., good stuff as always. Thank you.